Welcome back to ETB Extra here on the ETBU Sportsnet, broadcasting live from the first floor of the Ornella Student Center. Students are here uh, having lunch. Students are here studying. Uh, earlier, Marbley Baptist Church, Marshall Campus, provided food for those here in the Huffington Student Activities area. Also have a, one of the camps who are here uh, that uh, provide employment for our students over the summer looking for camp counselors. Just a great day to be on the heel of East Texas Baptist University. Before we talk to Edsel Hamilton, I want to reveal the fan vote on this week's fan vote brought to you by Team Higher Purpose. You were asked to vote on three of your favorite plays from this past Saturday's football game in which the Tigers won against Harden-Simmons to clinch at least a tie for the American Southwest Conference. It was either uh, CJ's big sack that he had in the ball game when the Tigers defense or our Gandy's pass that he caught in in the third quarter which the Tigers went on to score that last touchdown for the victory or Kendall Robertson's run and the winner Adam Ledyard I believe you told me was Gandy's catch right he received 50 percent of the vote look again next week for another time for you to vote as a fan on the ETB fan vote at the ETB social media pages all right we continue to talk basketball this afternoon here on the campus of ETB now we talk with the head coach of the Lady Tigers Edsel Hamilton and and coach I know that you've had some scrimmages just like the men how do you rate your team after the scrimmages you've had well the first one went pretty well I thought we scrimmaged a uh, junior college team so they had a lot of good athletes and uh, you know we were really really short on prep time for that one that was only after about six days of practice so um, that one went a lot better than I thought it would uh, we executed things better than I thought we would and competed pretty well uh, they pulled away from us a little bit in the third quarter when uh, you know we were working more on situational type things and I was glad we had spent the day before working on zone stuff because they ended up playing zone the whole first two quarters and so thankfully we were ready for that um, and we both went and did some press stuff in the third quarter and uh, they pulled away from us a little bit but then in fourth quarter we kind of reset the score and went back to uh, just half court man and we played really well I think we outscored them in the fourth quarter when we were attacking their man defense so I was really happy with that and then uh, Friday night we, uh, we, we scrimmaged a division two school and uh, we played with them you know right for the first two quarters basically and then right at the end of the second quarter we had a little meltdown and uh, they kind of took off and went on a little run with us and we just kind of never recovered and so um, that was that was frustrating to see that we kind of uh, didn't didn't have the mental toughness to kind of get through that when things started going bad so that's something we've really been really been working on this week about mental toughness get, turning things around when things aren't going your way but um, you know, even through that, I, I really felt like we did some good things. We, we got the ball inside like we wanted to. Um, we played pretty good defense for the most part. We rebounded pretty well. Uh, so, it, you know, and they're, they're as good as probably anybody will play this year. And uh, so it was good for us, good experience for us, good learning experience. We spent a lot of time watching film on Saturday and Monday, uh, kind of trying to correct mistakes. So that's what I'm really looking forward to as we get into this weekend is are we going to correct the mistakes that we made in the last one being your first year as a head coach of Lady Tigers many of your players playing collegiate basketball for the first time do have some seasoned veterans coming back how is the learning process going between coach and players and players and coach and just playing college basketball it's it's been pretty good uh, you know the biggest thing is it's new for everybody so um, you know we don't have like we have veterans but they're not veterans of my system and my coaching style. So I have to kind of get used to them and what motivates them. And, uh, you know, I don't have that two and three year relationship with the seniors that, uh, you know, that I will two or three years from now. So, um, but, but it's, it's going well. They're, they're a very coachable group. Uh, they respond well um, when I challenge them. So it, it's been going really well. So how much fun are you having? I mean, this is your first uh, coaching experience at the head coach level. How much fun are you having at this time? It's a lot of fun. I mean, I, I love teaching, and uh, I love those little moments where things start to click, you know, when we've been working on our motion offense or something for, for a couple weeks, and they keep screwing it up and keep screwing it up, and then all of a sudden they do it right, and they get a wide-open shot and score, and it's like, ah, like that aha moment. Um, that, that's really exciting for me. Well, Coach, this week uh, you start, this is game week. Uh, you start your first uh, game. Start your, you have your first game. It's a season opener at home in Ornellis. It's a 1 p.m. tip-off as Southwestern from the SCAT Conference comes in to play. Uh, what can we expect from the Lady Tigers on the court this Saturday? Well, like I said, I think the, the biggest thing that I'm looking for is we correct, correct the mistakes that we made in our last scrimmage. But uh, I hope we're able to push the ball and play fast. I think we've got some good depth. We've got some good athletes. We've got some good skills. So we're going to try to get up and down the floor. Uh, if, we start, <laughs> if we start turning the ball over all the time, I'll try to rein them in a little bit. But, 
you know, I don't know what to expect a whole lot out of Southwestern, honestly, because they've got a new coach as well, and they only have a few players back that, that played a lot of minutes last year. So it's going to be kind of a feeling out process for both teams, just kind of go out there and, and try to execute what we want to execute, and then once we kind of figure out what they want to do, uh, make the necessary adjustments. It's like fun on Saturday since both the coaches are new and, yeah. and you're out there actually uh, you know, feeling one another out and uh, kind of like playing street ball maybe or something, you know, <laughs> see a weakness, go after it. Right. Well, Coach, this year in NCAA ladies basketball, there are some rule changes that fans obviously are going to see. I remember the very first time I went to a college game, I was like a sixth grader, and they were playing 20 minutes the first quarter. And I went, well, it's going to be a long basketball game. But I learned that it was 20 minutes a half. Well, the college game at the ladies' level has been 20 minutes a half for years, but there's a change this year, and that change is four 10-minute periods. How different is that going to be? I mean, I don't think it's a huge difference. Uh, the, the biggest thing for me is the number of breaks, because uh, what I was used to at, at the Division One level, we would have the four media timeouts per half, so 16-minute, 12-minute, 8-minute, 4 minutes. And then in the second half, you had the same thing, plus first called timeout of the second half was a media, plus you had five timeouts that you could use. So there was a lot of breaks in the, in the game. And now, basically, we've removed two media timeouts from each half, and I have four timeouts instead of five timeouts. So the segments of the game are longer. So that's, that's the biggest thing is I think the teams that are going to be well-conditioned will, will have a better chance in those stretches where, for example, if – first minute goes really bad and coach calls a timeout. That's the media timeout. So you can go nine whole minutes without a break. So you got to be smart about subbing and your kids have got to be in good shape because they, they may be out there for a long time without a break. So I think the, the well-conditioned teams will have a bit of an advantage there. Could you share with us why the NCAA has moved to the four 10-minute periods? Yeah, I think they're really trying to get to some more consistency. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really, really surprised that the men's haven't done it. I thought, if anybody, that they would have done it to try to get some more consistency because high school you play quarters, professional and international they play quarters, so college was the only one that wasn't splitting it up with quarters. Um, so they're just trying to get more consistency uh, through all levels is really what they're trying to do. In the scrimmages, have your veterans noticed the difference between the 10-minute quarters or is it just a scrimmage and it's just like a long practice? I'm not sure that the, they really notice the difference. I think one situational thing is the end of the quarters you know it again the time difference the time is still the same you're still playing 20 minutes before your big break but the end of the quarter there's actually the clock is counting down so instead of getting to the 12 minute media or the eight minute media where it's just kind of whenever it happens the clock's counting down so you have kind of an end of half end of game situation really four times a game instead of just two so uh, your your execution is is really going to have to be important in those moments when we got 12 seconds left on the clock and we need to run a play or if we're 45, 50 seconds, can we get a two for one? Um, time management stuff and knowing the time and score is going to be really important. Business with Edsel Hamilton, the new head coach of Lady Tiger Basketball with their first game of the season this Saturday, 1 p.m. tip off at Ornelas Gymnasium, uh, taking on Southwestern. What type of butterfly is a coach going to have on Saturday, Edsel? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I think I had a little bit uh, on Friday night because we had our scrimmage was, was in our gym. And, uh, and we, had, we had a few people there. It wasn't like a big crowd because I didn't publicize it or anything like that. But there were a little bit there. Um, but, you know, wearing <laughs> T-shirt and shorts is different than getting out there in a suit and, um, and having, you know, play-by-play -play and knowing that it's being streamed on the Internet and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, when, once, I, once I get out there, I think you kind of get – it's like playing. I mean, you kind of get caught up in, like when I played, I didn't really think about the crowd and stuff that's going on. Like you're kind of in the moment, focused on what's going on in the court. Um, so I, hopefully it'll be like that. But for sure there'll be some excitement type butterflies of, you know, I really, really want to start my career off with a win. You know? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I hate to even say this, but I was, I was joking with somebody. You know, if you win Saturday, you're 1-0 in your college career. And if you were to quit, <laughs> you'd be the winningest coach in D3 football uh, with the highest percentage of 1,000. That's right. But we don't want that to happen. Right, but right. I was just jokingly making fun of, of the situation yeah. on Saturday. Well, Coach, any final thoughts about Ty Lady Tiger basketball before we get out of here today on be Extra? Uh, my final thought would be everybody, please come out and support us. I think uh, football's on the road, men's basketball's on the road, uh, cross country's on the road. So uh, please, please come out and support us. We're 1 o'clock right here in, uh, in Ornellis, and we'd, we'd love to have a good crowd. I think 
the better atmosphere and environment. I think our kids will really feed off of that, and uh, it will kind of take them to another level. Well, Coach Hamilton, thank you for your time today to talk Lady Tiger basketball. Thanks, Mike. Well, that's going to wrap up today's edition of ETB Extra. Thank you for clicking in today as we broadcast live from the first floor of the Ornella Student Center. Don't forget, Tiger basketball this weekend, men on the road at 1 p.m., ladies at home at Ornellis at 1 p.m., Tiger football on the road, big game against Mary Harden Baylor in Belton, 1 p.m. kickoff. And, of course, cross country is going to the regional meet. It's a great time to be a Tiger, and so keep up with Tiger sports at GoETBTigers.com. On behalf of all those folks from the Sports Information Department, Matthew and Kenneth and Adam helping things today to make this show possible, I'm Mike McKiff. Thank you for clicking in today, and, of course, thank you for our coaches and Hannah Chris for being a part of the show today. That's all for ETB Extra. We'll see you next Wednesday, high noon, from the campus of East Texas Baptist University.